It is our key strategy to define ourselves through technology, and technology is defined by innovation. Our revolution innovation truck shows what happens if engineers get the freedom to design and to create what is closest to their heart. As an engineer, our favorite day is always the day when, when you get to hold the parts in your hand or when you see the truck show up. It's fantastic. There's a lot of research that goes into looking at what the drivers do on a daily basis and trying to implement technologies and conveniences that can best support them. This vehicle is something completely new, so it will define a completely new segment. My role in Innovation Truck 2 was the overall program manager. We noticed that there was a shift towards more and more day cabs, so we took a look at what the market had available today, both in day cabs and sleeper cabs, and then we had this concept of creating something in between that would really give us flexibility. I was the lead engineer for the cab interior, the cab structure, and also the integration of the electronics. One of the key parts of the Revolution truck is the fact that it's optimized around a single driver. And so one of the first things we did is we said, do we need a passenger side door? Not really. There's a cargo hatch on the passenger side, but there's not a typical door. Once you think about a vehicle only having one person in it, you can kind of open up your, your thoughts about what that truck is going to look like. I did the concept development for the exterior. To do this truck, we wanted a dynamic shape. We wanted a obviously an innovative shape, something that showed the future, something that was a game changer. So I looked at things such as aircraft, sports cars, things that show speed, things that show movement to change the face of trucking. My role in the development of the innovation truck was focused on the chassis, the hood, the tail light assembly. A lot of the unique engineering features from the exterior were really the hood shape. The shape really led to a total rework of the front end of the system. We ended up having to lower the engine. We ended up having to change the radiator package. We got rid of the mirrors on the exterior. And so what we've done is we've put these cameras on side pods to simulate the view that the mirrors would have. We wanted to show off some future technology. The lighting, LED technology has come through leaps and bounds in the last five, 10 years. It's very important to push the envelope to attract the younger drivers. The exciting look of the truck could be something that the next generation will latch on to. My role in the Revolution Innovation Truck was as the lead designer for the interior. The design goals were to make this space as appealing and efficient and functional as possible for that driver. We took the current product and stripped away the back wall and the roof and then add the raised roof structure. And we wanted to be able to integrate that space. In order to do that, we opened that up and we made it a living space. And by putting this large door in the back wall, we've created what is actually, we think, maybe a preferred way to enter and exit the vehicle. The interior configuration came about from a need to incorporate the driving mode, a working mode and a resting mode. The working environment consists of a workstation, a table, outlets for your computer or any of your other hardware, software. We've introduced a new instrument cluster that allows for a lot more information density. We've laid out the cluster so that it has only six primary gauges. We've put an actual display screen in the center that allows for a lot more depth through a menu system. The most exciting new technology is uh, the Truck OS. It's almost like a portal into what the truck information has to share, and it also, because it has a cellular connection, you can pull in any relevant information from anywhere. Some of the lightweight components that are part of the chassis are the frame rail. By using a cold rolled aluminum frame rail, we're able to maintain a constant cross section reducing the weight by about 200 pounds. For every pound we reduce, we can improve the fuel economy of the vehicle, and it also gives the operator more payload that they can carry. The Detroit Long Haul Tandem is one of those special technologies that the market could really use. The Long Haul Tandem typically, in most dry applications, drives only the forward set of the rear axles, and that provides the fuel economy savings. If traction is limited and the computer system starts to sense slip in that forward drive axle, 
the computer system automatically and seamlessly transfers power to the rear axle set so that you maintain four drive axles in the back of the vehicle. The split cooling system came out of a desire to separate the engine cooling needs from the air conditioner cooling needs. By removing the AC condenser requirements from that system, the engine fan could focus only on cooling the radiator and the CAC. The end benefit of a split cooling system is increased fuel economy. This Revolution Innovation Truck is a great example of the flash of innovation that we took and made something work out of it. I mean, this is a fully functional truck. It's not just a demonstration vehicle. We see some of the products coming out of this innovation truck uh, spinning off and, and becoming real products. Uh, just the idea of having a crossover cab, I think you will see in the future. The instrument cluster or the Detroit Long Haul Tandem, they're really special features. We are interested in getting customer feedback. We are today clearly the leader in innovation and technology. And to stay ahead, to keep this position, you have to permanently invest in staying ahead. You need first-class people in a first-class development group. I think it's important to have our customers demanding the best from us. This is what innovation is about, to combine the knowledge from all different fields of expertise into a new product. Yeah.